So let's try that again. Welcome back to Solasta. We, we had an event, so welcome back. You guys missed out on the beginning of the first attempt at recording an episode. But the stream people know what I'm talking about. Basically, we've got two things of bones. We killed the wolves. We got all the stuff we could from out here. We could go through the front door. We're not going to. Instead, we're going into the mausoleum. You're all cut up now. <laughs> Mainly, I did something and it didn't react to it as quickly as I thought it probably should have. And we'll show the you what that is in just a second. were likely for servants and guards. The mausoleum holds a few burials, but its main purpose is to hide this secret entrance. The most important graves are in the catacombs down below. And by important, you mean rich. Exactly. So let's go ahead and go down. So, I'm gonna mention that it is kind of weird that we never see, like, the underground dungeons. We literally just kind of go down through the stairs and then come back up inside the castle. I would have loved to have actually adventured through that particular area. So anyway, let's go ahead and set ourselves up again. Hopefully we can do it quick enough to not get spotted this time. You are going to go there. You are going to go there. And basically what we were trying to do is set up an ambush to actually take... Hey, can you go there? Thank you. Uh, set up an ambush for these guys. So what we want to do is just... Since we are here, attack and shoot it. That way we get a surprise round on them. Despite them getting pretty good. Oh, actually, they, we got better initiative. So, hey, I'm fine with that. So, 10 damage there with a sneak attack. And you actually have... How are you looking on arrows? I wish it would actually show me how many you had left in there. Without me having to go into my inventory. So, they have the ability to do that. So, I'm going to actually just move over I think this way and then you can move back next turn and she can move pretty easily around this place because she does have that spider climb so we'll go right no, we, we want to stay a little bit further back and turn you I don't think do you actually have a line of sight on it you do not Peek out, shoot it, and we'll pass on the strike because that should be lethal on it. No, no, you dumbass! Please do not. Do, mm. Did I actually click on the other side of the wall? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, cast spell. Let's go ahead and get some shield of faith up on you. There you go, shielded by faith, so he should actually have decent defense now as well. And we are going to go ahead and turn on you. Next turn, we'll switch you back to your uh, melee stuff. Does he have line of sight on anybody? He do not. So he's going to go ahead. We're actually going to move back. We're going to set him up to do an archery thing if they decide to come towards us. I don't think they're going to get to us this round. But we got, like, basically a free kill on them. I would have rather had two out in the courtyard, but I was afraid of it doing what it did last time. So switch to that, go ahead and ready a ranged attack. And you go ahead. I think they were all up in here and there. So what I want to do is I think I want to bring out a flaming sphere. What does that get for, um, it deals an extra die of fire damage. So do we want to do that? I don't think so. I think we want to go flaming sphere or the wind thing. And disperses fogs and gases. And it lasts for one minute. I think it damages them if they walk through it as well. So what we could do... Nah, I think we're just going to go for a level 2 ball of fire. And position it probably there, because that's where they're going to want to climb over. And then we move uh, back. Because that's what we do. We have a burning ring of fire. So, in turn, Flaming Sphere is just going to chill there for now. <coughs> yes, we can use our bonus action to make it move. If we want to. I think it has to move to an area that we can see. So, let's see. This is a little risky to do, but I think I do want to move up here. Because this will give us a view over the courtyard. And we might accidentally trigger more enemies if we move up too far. 
because there is this whole area over here. Although, yeah, it's still over there. there the, this, the enemies are still there. There should still be one just chilling up there, too. So we just don't want to activate that second battle. We can sort of tell there is a guy there. So you go ahead and ready your uh, ranged attack. You need to go ahead and cast your own ball. Same level. Uh, do we want to? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and sacrifice concentration. So we can have two balls. Uh, I mainly put that up because I was like thinking maybe they'd come over, but I forgot. They can't. So this is going to go... Think up there? Yeah. That's just gonna go up on top. So we just have two giant balls of fire just floating around. End turn. And you are just going to uh, ready your range attack. We're holed up in here for a reason. So that can just go straight over. I think. Did we just soft lock it? I think we might have soft locked it. Nope, there it goes. It, it was figuring out pathing. And you are going to just ready your ranged attack as well. So they should be trying to come towards us. If not, we just move things in there and burn them alive. And that is that. Nope, there's one there. He hasn't spotted us. So cast spell, let's go for... Actually, no, you're going to go for an attack. Go ahead and just... Oh, you can't actually hit him from there. You can see him, but you can't hit him. So you know what I'm going to do with you? You're going to come back down. Get back down here. We know roughly where he is. So you're just going to ready a spell. Range, actually, ready a range attack. You are going to move your ball in on this guy. Foop. We're just going to flank him with balls. And range attack. Yeah, we're just setting up our range attacks to just kind of like deal with these guys as best we can. And enter. So now he's got balls on either side of him. And we can just move things around to deal with these. So he's thinking about moving. There's one going. They're like, I think they're looking for me. They don't know where I'm at. They haven't spotted a single one of us. But we are, our goal is to kill them with balls. Did he take fire? He did not take fire damage by going through my balls. It's really kind of irritating that these are so inconsistent. I, I'm going to gripe on that a little bit. Because they're supposed to take damage whenever they pass through it. Apparently, walking immediately through it, standing right next to it, does not cause it to pass through it. So, let's just go ahead and shoot at you. Compl well, you actually got him. And did he spot you? Nope. So, I guess we bring our balls up. And hope that this counts for something. Uh, ranged attack. Can you actually shoot from there? No, but you might be able to do... Some... Yeah, you can do it from here. He might get spotted, though. Yeah, go ahead and shoot him from here. Okay, so I they don't have very high act um, AC. They really don't. It's, it's not going to be that big of a deal, but... Let's see. You are going to go there. Since you're probably going to be the first one spotted, let's go ahead and... I can't end turn. There it is. It's a scroll wheel on the bottom. <laughs> okay. So now we have that. We have you moving over there. This won't spot anything, but we do actually have an enemy we can sort of see right there. So stick to a range attack on you. You can use a crossbow. It's fine. So what do they have waiting for us? Um, Not much. Is that guy going to decide to move or not? Or no? I think they're just on their, like, AI pathing for whenever they're not in battle. 
So yeah, we'll just murder them this way. I'm not too bothered by it. I can't be first. Still no crits, but yeah, it's enough damage. And we succeeded against them. We, we managed to stay hidden. So yeah, in turn. You do have line of sight on him as well. I mean, we know there's one over in that corner back there, too. So we're literally just killing them before they honestly know we're here. So that's another one dead. We will move your balls. Um, That way. I think that might actually hit him. And this one will move... All right, we'll enter in there. We might move this one. We might not. So I do want them to find me eventually, so I can actually find my way through. So let's see. I'm going to go with a uh, ready, just a range attack. And this ball is going to move. Does he take damage just being in it at the end of turn, maybe? And yeah, it doesn't like it whenever I move it where I can't see. <laughs> so it's going to take it a minute to actually crawl over that, but it will eventually get there. At least it did just a minute ago. And ready in action, just range attack is fine. So that guy is moving out of the way. Not taking any damage from our fireball thingies. So I'm just gonna go out here. I'm gonna I'm gonna let them find me. Because there's two of them. We have people's with people with ready actions. Range attack as soon as it comes into sight of you. You are going to go ahead and just ready action whenever they come into sight of you. It does slightly irritate me that these balls are just super inconsistent. I don't... I'm not understanding why they're not doing anything. Other times they will. Other times they'll do damage. It's just this time it's like... Mm, Nah, we don't feel like it right now. Or we're they're already in the ball of fire. I, I can read the spell thing if you want. Here, let's go look at the spell thing again. Summons a movable burning sphere. Summon flaming sphere you control. 2d6 fire damage, save for half. You would think that would mean anything that like maybe ends its turn in there or starts its turn in there for just the mechanics of this. But no, it's just like nothing. And it's saved for half, not saved for none. So you can't even say, oh, they were saving against it. It's just, it's very frustrating, to say the least. So are we just flushing them out with our balls? Is that what we're doing here? Get up there. Do we see them? Well, we sort of see them. I see one of them. I don't know where the other one is. There supposedly are two. So just ready your ranged attack. You move your ball in on that guy. And move there so you have line of sight if he decides to come out. Range attack. And you can move there. I don't know if this will get them spotted, maybe. I actually kind of want them to spot me now so they'll stop just sitting in a corner. Because I think we kind of broke the AI. Range attack! And here's another ball. You're going to go there so it has to pass through you to actually move. So maybe it's if only if they move through. Nope. He walked through it and took zero damage. I really don't know what the condition for it to actually do anything is. I mean, that guy's going to die anyway, so. Okay, let's kill him. We have one character spotted. That's that's actually a hit. Hmm, must have oh really bad AC. Okay, so we got them. 
We failed our wisdom save, so we don't know what those are, but they're ghouls. And I am going to go ahead and loot stuff. Probably as you. But I really do need to figure out the mechanics of these, because they are like cornerstone items of two of my characters. They are things we just know. So, loot all, yep. And yeah, this is probably just more arrows. If I had to guess. Yep. There's a chance that you'll recover your arrows and stuff like that. So, let's go ahead and climb over. And I'm going to do... Do we want to do that? Or do I want to do the fight in the middle of all this? Hmm. I'm going to quick save real quick. But let's go ahead and open that. And go this way. Because if I remember correctly... Oh yeah, you need to loot that stuff. I almost forgot my barrels. But yeah, we need to loot a few things here. And then we will go deal with the skeletons in the courtyard. Because I think we do want to do that. Because we want to kill as many things as possible in this place. They'll give us a bit more of profit, basically. Uh, that's a short sword. The other one is up here. Is it not right there? It should be right there. Oh, I can almost click on it. There we go. That one's hard to click on. You have to get it from this side. <laughs> well, yeah, there, there are some jank mechanics. We could just go through here and get inside. I think I want to do it this way, though. Get ourselves several battles in this episode. So that is our loot from there. I don't see anything else for us to loot. Can see the graveyard over yonder. So we are, yeah, we are ready to start moving in on the next bit of this, which is going to involve attacking all of these. Hopefully it does not, like, spawn us down into the courtyard, because that would suck. I can see it doing that, though. So, of course, we are quick saving. Oh, can't save right now because we're about to interact with something. That's fine. <clears throat> F5, everybody stealth up. And you should all be able to, yeah, you have the athletics to get up here. So you loot this. You are extra stealthy. Got a skeletal enforcer there. Scroll of Spirit Guardians, not super useful to us, but still not terrible. And you've got a corrosive bolt. Interesting. That's going to go in on you. And... That is a different looking crossbow bolt. Did they change the graphics when they did the 1.1 whatever? They did. Okay. That's strange. Okay, now as far as what I want to do, I think I want to go ahead and... Oh, let's go ahead and load up our inventory. You need to get your bolts, your arrows on. You need to... You're sitting good on bolts. You're sitting okay on bolts. Yeah, they changed the graphic for the bolts. That's some more for you. And that is a poisoned bolt. So yeah, we're just topping off our arrows before we go into combat. Just to be, you know, happy. Do you have extra bolts? You should. Yeah, you got a few. Not that either of these characters really needs it. They can actually do a lot without any weapons whatsoever. But at the same time, yeah. So this, I need line of sight on you. There you go. Skeleton archer. Take him down. I'm more concerned about the ranged dudes. Round one. Finish him. So there's one down. And, oh, it drops all the way down. Sweet. So let's see. I'm going to go... I'm going to stay stealthy and just go here. Since you're on a higher plane, you're a little bit harder to spot. You are kind of stealthy as well, so you can just do that. 
I, I want to save my fireballs and stuff for like a real necessity situation. That didn't kill him. He has a chance to spot me. I succeed at staying stealthed. So they all have a surprise round as well. These are just normal skelly bros too. So that's going to be a little bit easier on me. It's going to make life a little more smooth. Boop. Get rid of you. There's one down. Got one, two. Got the skeleton archer in the middle of the field there. Got that. Wait a minute. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yet only four in the initiative order. I think we go after you. Is he going to spot him? Possibly. No, we got good rolls. Cool. Um, Yeah, we'll go ahead and action surge. We're using up a little bit there. But getting rid of their range is going to be tantamount. So, yeah, we just have Enforcer and a regular skeleton there. The only archers are the ones up here in the tower. And I'm not entirely sure they can spot us from there. So, end turn. So I think we've gotten rid of... Yeah, we've gotten rid of all of their ranged on the ground. So you get to die as well. Yeah, we'll strike him. He succeeded at that con save, though. And he's... What? How did we... Oh, yeah, because we did strike. It made it bludgeoning damage. So cast spell. Let's go for... Do we... No, we're going to save it. Enter. So they're no longer surprised. So the fact that they don't know where we're at is perfectly fine by me. Too far away to be perceived. Well, you're not too far away if you step forward one. Are you? Yeah, he's still too far away to be perceived. Okay. Nice. And we failed at the stealth roll. They've spotted us, so they'll probably start coming towards us. And turn. So yeah, we killed things that were not currently on the slate, so that's going to be a thing. So you just go ahead and move up, ready your action, range attack. And we'll just take this guy down before he even gets like super close. Oh, he's trying. He be trying, he be coming, my boy. Boop. There's the enforcer down. And let's see, how close do we have to get to get a line on you there? That's fine. I'm good with moving up to pop the skeleton. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. I kind of want him to spot us as well, <laughs> just so I can do some more damage to him. But I think we will just pass on that. We also, I think we... No, we don't have... Oh yeah, we do have Turn Undead. But we used up our divinity for it already. So you just ready a ranged attack. Are they? They're coming across. They're trying. And we're getting we're getting good hits and good rolls right now. Ooh. Who were they attacking? Layla? Oh, you were. So that means we have a line of sight on you as well. <laughs> The fact that I, you can see me means I can see you. So, yeah. Go ahead and get into cover. And turn. And that means anyone who goes there should be able to spot them as well. Which is exactly what I want. Bonk. There's another one down. And step back, because that is, like, the sweet spot. End turn. He's going to get spotted here, but he has multiple shots, so it shouldn't be a big issue. He should be able to take it down before it becomes a thing. Even if it does spot him. Uh, oh, we, we managed to remain hidden. I guess skeletons are not very observant, folk. And there's our victory. And it, Yeah, it moves us down in here. You there! Stop! Don't move!
Who are you? Hmm. We have absolutely. Yeah, we'll just it's attack. Just a few skeletons. Let's get them. I'm not gonna negotiate with this nonsense. And I w did. Did it really? Le it left him up there, and everybody else is here in the middle. Sweet. Um, that's bad, especially considering he got high initiative against us, and Dwarfin Guard is last. Okay, so we should go ahead and cunning action, disengage, proceed on that. And let's see, we have Skeleton Archer there, that's a little bit late in the turn order. Skeleton Archer there, and then we have the Enforcers there. We are going to get a fireball off, but I don't think it's going to be enough to kill any of those. Do we have any support guys? We do have an Archer up there as well. So if we move back, you should be good to just kind of start harassing the ones that are like point blank on them. That's what I'm talking about. Get rid of the one that has an opportunity attack going. End turn. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Okay, long sword attack. Long sword attack number two. With disadvantage. Why is he attacking with disadvantage? That one, I don't understand. Why Why do they actually have disadvantage? Maybe someone else knows. But let's go ahead. Ooh, it's Spiritual Guardians or Fireball. Oh, my. I actually, I think we want this. Uh, character becomes protected by Spirit Guardians. So we just have sustained damage at the start of each turn. And anything that comes near us would take damage, which would be the Enforcers. Or we can Fireball. And do... A bunch of damage like that. Can we actually... Ooh, we can hit more of them. I'm going to do a fireball. Because who doesn't like a giant freaking fireball? Especially from a cleric. <laughs> well, that worked a little bit. So skeletal enforcers over there on the side. Oh, we've got enforcer up on the wall as well. Okay, so you guys are going to back off to here. You're going to switch back to your sword and shield. Uh, we'll switch back to bow at the beginning of next turn as well. Enforcer is just trying to come towards us. What we're going to do is probably fireball again. I I don't like that our mage is kind of stuck there, but I think he'll be okay. And there's the attack. That's going to hit. Um, Cast spell shield. And this is going to be an attack. Thankfully a miss. Ow, that was not. They do get two attacks because they're basically warriors or fighters, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so you. Actually, I think we do wind wall. Can we actually do... That without hitting ourselves? No. No. So we would have to do something like... That? Yeah, let's just do that. They failed the strength save. They got dealt some damage. Which pushes them away so we can actually move. Sweet. That is extra useful, by the way. I like that. So now you are still stealth, so you actually have a free attack with advantage on these guys. You also have spells, but Expeditious Retreat or Magic Missile do not seem like particularly useful spells in this particular situation. So I'm going to go after... Let's go ahead and thin the numbers. There's a dead there. Here comes another dead. Aw, oh, I didn't kill him. Sadness. We failed. Yeah, we actually... Oh, we roll a disadvantage check there. Okay. So, Expeditious Retreat on yourself. So, he has some movement. Dash. And you will come in... 
Yeah, that'll get you down here. Yeah, you're going to come running in. And then we'll switch him over to using his hammer and sword. So he can be in the brawl. And you should have advantage. Oh, you don't have advantage on them. Why don't you actually have advantage? He's engaged. Can't hit either of them. And I think he's actually protected from the archer as well. So yeah, we'll just go after the enforcer. Oh, because we're shooting past our friend. Hadoip. Swap to daggers, run up, and get yourself a stab as well. Yes. I mean, I don't think I actually clicked on him, but that's what I intended to do anyway. I do wonder why he's getting disadvantages on our people, though. That is very strange. So you... We're probably going to have to rest after this, so I'm going to go ahead and go all the all in on this. So yeah, fireball there would probably kill them all. But I think that might be a bit much. This guy's hurt pretty bad. They're all hurt pretty bad. So let's go for... I think level 2 magic missile and go pop pop. Three on you. No, let's do just four on you. Get rid of you completely. Yeah, that finished him off. Abort and intern. So they don't take damage going through that. That just blocks arrows. It's only on summon that it deals damage. Unlike firewall. I would love if it just kept them shoved back. Oh, there's another archer guy back there. Well, he's going to have to come up if he's going to want to attack us. We have a wall of air. <laughs> that was a miss and a half. So let's see. Cast spell. Fireball for you. I think we don't worry about the other one and we actually go with that fireball. And that finishes off both of them. Even with the deck save, it finished them off. You slash. Oh, come on. Kill the enforcer. Because all you have left is the archer to deal with. There you go. Dash. And I don't have an easy way up there, but you can get into the wind wall. So you, we're going to be harvesting a lot of stuff from here, by the way. If you didn't notice by the 10 million treasure bags on the ground. So concentrating on wind wall, concentrating on expeditious retreat. Can't, oh, you can shoot there, but if you go there, uh, they should. So is it because the angle he's at that we just don't have? Oh, yeah, you actually, if we back up one, we might be able to shoot him. Nope. Oh, nope. So I guess we just stay protected by the wind wall and make him come down. Ah, cast spell. Yeah, we'll just do sacred flames. Because that's not a arrow attack. Oh, whoa. One shot him with it? Jesus. Okay. So, F5 after that. We got a ton of experience. So, inventory-wise... Yeah, we're already halfway to level 6. Did I mention that max level is level 10 in this? <laughs>